to Championship Manager Years even. Um, episode 4 today. Um, hopefully the little bugs we had in yesterday's video, or I assume yesterday's video, the way it's going at the moment, it is week, every day this week. Um, yeah, the bugs we had where the video just seemed to come out on one recording, sort of duplicate, but with a frozen screen, and then on the other one with a, a bit of a warped bottom of it. Every test I've done tonight on recording uh, the screen, it, it's worked. Uh, so hopefully that continues uh, with this one and hasn't just gone back to how it was before. So before we start, um, well, we, we've kind of jumped into early March now. I think we were, what, December-ish last time. So we've got a, a good few months, we've got a lot of games uh, again, uh, trying to just skip through this first season as quick as possible. Now, monthly awards, we do have January and February, so it'll give you a slight idea of how we've done. But I didn't think we were as good as that, certainly not in February anyway, but Kevin Keegan's got it in the Premier League. Uh, no one else, oh, Jordan, oh no, no one else has sort of back to back to this month just yet. Uh, Wilkinson at Leeds has had a lot of them, so they're obviously doing very well. But we'll have a look at the games we've played since um, last time. Uh, we'll go back a little bit. So what was the last game? Well, the first game I played today was Millwall. So it was here, wasn't it? Yeah, it was here. So it was, we played Darlington in the FA Cup. We got through 5-1. Uh, against Millwall, we got a pretty decent 1-0 win, but it did have a bitter side as uh, Leonenko got injured right on 90 minutes, pretty much. Um, that really hurt us. He was out for a few weeks, but we did kind of recover. We kind of switched things up a little bit in terms of players. I think Tomlinson dropped in for a little while and Steve Ball got a bit more of a prominent role in the team and as you'll see he did not too badly actually. Uh, we then had Tranmere in the first leg of the Anglo Italian Cup semi-final. Oh it's domestic final. Domestic final and then the two Italian, there's the two Italian teams so it's yeah the, the actual final final is this but we lost 1-0 at home unfortunately. Um, we were the better team really but we just couldn't score they had their one chance and we were fighting back and we just couldn't get back in unfortunately um we then followed that up with a nice 2-1 win against port vale got us back on the winning trail steve ball as like we said got in the goals and mccarthy got one as well their keeper is the man of the match which kind of tells the story of this game again a lot of chances being created but not a great deal of us to write about in terms of goals and <clears throat> pardon me clean sheets uh, we did get a clean sheet in this game, but um, despite the early red card for Tranmere, we couldn't score. We couldn't get back into into the game, into the tie. Uh, Ricardo Skimmick has gone to Tranmere from range, uh, from Aston Villa. Very strange. But yeah, we, we weren't great, but we we probably didn't do enough to win necessarily, but we... Over the two legs, we should have gone through. Let's be honest, let's be honest. Um, we did have a couple of an England game at this stage, but we'll look at that after. Uh, we did then have an FA Cup game. Obviously, it's the fifth round, I think. Fifth round, we got we drew West Ham, and we were absolutely phenomenal in this game. I don't know where this game, this performance came from. It's pretty much a strong team. Uh, I don't know who this Matt Class is. He's not doing very good, so maybe it isn't a complete first team. Rio Ferdinand's on the bench, but he's not really playing this season anyway. But Steve Ball with a hat trick. Sean McCarthy grabbing the fourth. They grab a late consolation through Michael Hughes, but the damage was done. We were through, and that puts us through into the sixth round, which I think is the quarterfinals if I'm not mistaken uh, but we then played Sunderland and we couldn't follow up our form against West Ham with this game again look at this 21 shots 12 on target no goals they have two shots out of three on target and they score one and hold on for the win and yeah it's just disappointing games like this are sneaking in and that actually got them right behind us in the league they were they were trailing us and that put them very close we'll see the league in a minute uh, South End who are the bottom team I mean, we struggled in this game. Again, we probably dominated the game. We did. We got two shots, two goals, luckily. We did have another red card. Uh, it nearly cost us the game. Ten minutes later, they got one back, and we were hanging on a little bit, but we did manage to hang on. Uh, and then the real annoying one that I've literally just played, and I'm still seething. 4-2 um, against Norwich. We were 2-0 up. I think we were 2-0 up. No, we were 1-0 up, and then 2-1 up. But they had an early red card on 20 minutes and they still came back to level us each time and then still scored um, two, goal, two goals to win 4-2. I mean, that's an absolute disgrace. When I get a red card, I'm holding on. I'm lucky to get the draw. Very lucky to get a win. They, they come back and actually beat us with 10 men. It's absolutely disgraceful. But 
and they're not even that good they're not even that doing that well in the league um, but we are back today we're going to play a couple of games i'm going to try and keep this episode a bit shorter i managed to uh, edit yesterday's one down to about i think it was about 20 odd 25 minutes maybe um I want to try and keep this one lower so we won't play the whole month or the whole rest of march we'll play just a couple of games and then we'll probably come back for the next season the episode after that at the end of the season and then if we're there the way it's going at the moment i'm not too sure if we're in the playoffs i'll do playoffs as an episode and then euro 96 will be that'll probably be next week i'd imagine um depends on fm19 as well because that's going to come out and take a lot of, t- of my time up uh, but if we look at the league table we are now sitting fifth place we have been as high as fourth maybe third even at one point never going to catch the first two i mean they're battling it out royally for that top spot but i mean they're both guaranteed promotion either way pretty yeah they are pretty much guaranteed promotion either way what's that seven games in the league to go i think it's 42 uh, 24, 48, no it's 46 there's about 11 games left to go actually more than I thought but we're one point off the third spot like we were looking at but we're also only a couple off being outside of it and there's a couple of teams, big teams, good teams chasing us as well, and I think we've got a few of those in the running, so today we have got Everton in the FA Cup uh, did we say it was the quarter final, quarter final yep yeah, sixth round, um, Stow is back he has been back a few weeks but I've kept Jones in because he was playing really well. But they need a couple of stinkers. I've now put Stale back in. So he's back in at number one. We're going to have to take uh, Van der Howen. He was playing quite well. well. We were playing well with him in, put it that way. We got a good couple of results. And he, he kept his place when, when Young was... I mean, Young's not doing very well. Uh, is McGregor doing better? McGregor's doing better. We might pop him in. And we... Yeah, I think that'll do. And then... Lienenko has just... He was kept on the bench a little bit as well. Or dropped back into attacking midfield rather than up front because Ball was doing quite well but we have put, him, put, put Leonenko back in for Ball now yet again had a bit of a run with no goals so we had to change it up not optimistic about the quarter final game here but we have been doing quite well in the cups or well, certainly the FA Cup anyway we've obviously got to the final slash semi-final of Anglo-Italian if we can get something here then I'd be amazed but very nice surprise we need the money we're, we're slipping back into that red I had a couple of bids on two players very cheap oh, goalkeeper we don't have on the bench of course we don't oh, Stowell again is injured and it's very early this time so yeah we're not definitely not winning this game with us <laughs> we take the lead but I mean any shot they get they're going to score but yeah we, we had a couple of bids on two players a centre back and I think it was two centre backs actually or maybe an attacking midfielder there we go first shot is goal um, and they were only like 10k each but we had no money to buy them and Vinny sideways has scored for Wal- for Everton oh my god of all people but yeah we're not going to win we, had, we were going to struggle to win this game anyway but with Eric Young in goal oh, don't be giving them free kicks don't be getting sent off stuff like that There's still a few things coming our way. We're getting a few chances, but we're, again, it's the usual story. We're just not taking them. And we've taken the lead again, 56 minutes. We have got a very high capacity attendance in for today. 28,000, we're only about, what, 400 odd short um, of a full capacity here. So that should bring a nice bit of money in, hopefully, and swell up the, uh, the bank account a little bit more and get us maybe back towards keeping in the black or getting back into the black even. Um, I think the board are still, we scored again, it's Leonenko. I think they're still unhappy with me in the league position. I don't know whether I'm supposed to be romping the league table at this point or or what. I, I, I don't really know what they're expecting of me. Um, Bowie has played quite well. He's been playing, he's been pop, popping in a few eights recently actually, Ali Bowie. So very impressed with him. But yeah, great win here against Everton. And I don't know how they were doing in the league actually. A four from Mark Venus, so that's not great. But of course, we're through to the semi-final. Uh, Everton, how are they doing? I mean, unless I mean they've always very, they were very overpowered in these early games because the Collier brothers, Collier twins, that are the ones who the guys who created this game initially, big Everton fans, and or certainly one of them was, and he used to overpower the Everton team up. They used to be challenging all sorts. They're up there, and let's have a look at their team. The goalkeeper. They've only got the one goalkeeper, have they? Neville Southall sold. Oh, he went to Sheffield. Man- That's why I saw him. He went as a, a player manager to Sheffield United. He's still there. 
I think he's just a player. He got sacked, I'm pretty sure. No, he, he, he must have just recently taken the job, actually. Yeah, it was literally a few weeks. I saw the Sheffield manager, I think it was Howard Kendall get sacked. And he must have been the one to take it. I, know, I think I played them. I might be wrong, but I'm sure I played them. Um, but let's see, who's our next game? Wolves. We've got Charlton, Derby and Luton. Um, if we have a look at the league table. Charlton. Derby. Fantastic. And Luton off around here. We don't do too well against the low, the low, low teams either, to be fair. So uh, we'll come back shortly for the, what do you say, Charlton game. Here we are for the Charlton game. Sixth versus fourth. We've dropped right down. We have got games in hand, I think, because of the FA Cup run. We do. So they've obviously played before us. Um, Derby looks to be like our game in hand, actually, possibly. Although Luton are down there on, on those game, game numbers as well, so I'm not too sure. Do we bring him back in? How is Venus doing? Mm, not amazingly, but better than McMaster. Or Masters, even. Thompson? Even worse. Um, so we'll jump into this. Need a big win against the divisional rival here. I mean, the game in hand helps. But really, we need to be winning this and then punishing the game in hand just to keep the distance for us we're out of the I think we're just in the playoffs still or are we just out I think we're in the last place at the moment aren't we we have a chasing pack behind us and hopefully not too much of a pack in front of us getting away what I think we'll do we'll probably play these three games that we just talked about the Charlton Derby and Luton and I think that will be this episode we'll just keep it a little bit shorter and all of the matches hopefully that's my aim is to have maybe less matches but all of them uh, just to keep the videos down a little bit but without cutting too much out um, if we can keep the stuff around it a bit shorter that's the ideal situation as David White scores for Charlton 47 minutes and we're down 1-0 can we bounce back into this game with an early reply Lienenko goes close from a free kick but not quite and we're just not doing anything I mean, we should be winning this game again. We're just not capable. I don't know why Danny Murphy's the captain, to be honest. We'll have to look at that in a minute. McCarthy goes close. Oh, we're going to get a red card, aren't we? I can see where this is going. No, 90th minute. No, we're going to lose, and it's probably really harsh. We had more shots on target than they... Well, as many shots on target as they had shots, and we've lost 1-0. That's very, very disappointing. We seem to be capitulating. General win the anglo Italian Cup, beating Tranmere, I assume. Derby, oh, this is great as we're going into the game. Beat Luton 8-0. Could we not have played Luton now? Oh, man. And Luton are going to beat us, aren't they? Straight afterwards, I can just feel it. We're seventh, so we're out of the playoffs now. Sunderland have crept above us. Derby, this is going to be a fun game. A fun, fun game. Uh, he's up to 79%, not enough. We've got no one else really. We've got a lot of players listed. We've got no one really good enough. Very thin squad. We've got a first 11 that we like to pick, and then behind that is not a great deal, to be honest. And even some of the first 11 aren't great. But I mean, this, we're looking for damage control. They've just won 8 0. They've just, you know, we're struggling to score the goals from our chances. They've just peppered chances in. They've absolutely, they've just given Luton a damn good thrashing. Uh, we go close, but we're just not taking our chances. We're not scoring them, and we didn't change the captain. God's sake. Who is the captain? John DeWolf, maybe? 16, I'll, I'll take that. 18 for Dean Richards, we'll go with that. Plus he's got red, rest, less red cards than uh, John DeWolf, so <laughs> we, that's always good. You don't want the captain getting sent off every game. And a bit like, was it Gary Wackett in a Mike Bassett, England manager, just constantly getting sent off. Oh, I was about to say, we're looking on like holding off a draw at least here, and then they go and score. Hodges, not too sure who that is. 
And I think the floodgate is going to open now. We do have a chance like now, Leonenko. We still just can't score. Tomlinson. I mean, do we try and just change them around, see if that does something? Oh. I mean, it feels like they've scored. I mean, they haven't. We, we're equal on the shots. Let's get Steve Bull on. See if he can rally us back into this game. Again, they're just going close. They're just not scoring. And a disappointing 2-0 win. In a very even game, to be honest. We're still 7th. Luton, of course, recovered to win 3-1. So they are going to absolutely beat us, aren't they? Uh, a couple of quarter-final replays there in the FA Cup. So we'll find out our... Do we know who we're getting in the next round yet? Semi-final, we do. Oh, we got Norwich. Okay, interesting. So we'll probably chuck that one in here as well. Stales back. Leonenko's out. Oh, it's just... You, you can't... Just get a good run with no injuries. There's always someone missing or suspended or something. 87 will... Pop him on the bench. Come on, Wolves. We've got to beat Luton. And we're about 12 minutes in here. It's just been a couple of chances for them. They've got a free kick now. We get a yellow card, so. And I've still got Danny Murphy as captain. We have scored, though. I think it was Dean Richards. And if it was. He's about to be rewarded as getting the armband again. I need to remember this before next game. I don't even know how Danny Murphy's got it. I no idea. I can't even think maybe Osborne got given it in a game or something and it's just stuck. Yeah, because I think if you don't select a captain at the start, it assigns it automatically and it will just stay in that position. Even if you change the player, the, the position holds the holds the captain. And Foyer is on the bench today. Is it the, is it the Foyer I'm thinking of? Is he for Luton? I thought he was someone else. Reading, perhaps. Maybe maybe I just missaw the sub bench. But we really need to get a second goal here. Of course we don't, and they equalise. Uh, we're falling apart. We're not even going to be in the... In the oh, we've got one back, Smith. I was about to say, we're not even going to be in the playoffs come the end of the season at this rate. We're just falling away. But again, we're now we're just hanging back in there. If we, can get a, we need to get a two-goal two goal cushion here. Just to give ourselves any kind of chance for this I thought they were going to come straight back into it then no but they're starting to get a few chances we need that second goal third goal second second goal the two goal lead essentially I can just feel a goal for Luton coming oh, that would oh these both both of those chances are ones that you see going all the time Oh, there it is. Of course it is. You've played this game as many times over the years as I have. You know when it's back to stiff you. you knew, I knew there was a goal coming for Luton. I knew it was just coming. I knew we weren't going to win the game. No matter what I did, we weren't winning this game. Oh, it's just annoying. And especially when I look at some of the other teams around us have been dropping points as well. Sunderland now have a game in hand on us. So they could leap from us up into sort of fourth, really. I mean, we're still within touching distance of it. But we're running out of games and running out of time. Uh, as we, yeah, we need the money. <laughs> need the money. Oh, as Lee Bowyer picks up an injury now as well. Yeah, you can go. Custom save, token save. Oh, we've got an England game, so we'll pop that in here as well. So again, there's another slight change. We changed from that what we were playing before. We're probably going to pop Southgate in for Campbell. And. Uh, Letizia for Anderton, I think. We've dropped Letizia out. We've put, in, we've put Platt in the middle. Now he's back to fitness. Uh, we've got Shearer back. He's scored a couple in the last game. Oh, we didn't show the England game, did we? Actually, we'll have a look at that in a minute. But we've got a tough Italy team now. Italy, one of the best teams in the world around 95, 96. Obviously got to the final World Cup 94. Lost to Brazil on penalties. Um, didn't do too, too well in Euro 96. And I think World Cup 98... I can't remember how they did in 98. 
wasn't amazing, I don't think. I mean, you're not seeing a lot of the usuals. Minotti and stuff like that. They're not regular in Italy internationals. Simone, not so much. I mean, it was Roberto Baggio. Albertini, what, of course. I think Zola was probably in and around the team around this point. Ravinelli, I think I just saw. And I think McManaman has just given us the lead. He, he does on the 43rd minute. So we are playing a little bit better now. So if you look at their team, Marchigiani, I mean, back then it was probably Pagliuca still. Is he on the bench? Peruzzi, yeah, he was around. Uh, Panucci, yes, Maldini, of course. Maldini. Uh, Costa Curta. Minotti, is he from Parma? I thought, yeah, he's only from Parma. Uh, Albertini, Nicola Berti, Tottenham. I mean, it hasn't gone to Tottenham yet. He's still at Inter. Uh, Ravinelli, not a borough yet. And uh, Branca, Simone, Baggio, you know, it was Zola, Benarivo, Roberto Mancini before he we went to Leicester. And I don't remember Giannini so much. But a good 1 0 lead so far. And Tony Adams makes it 2 0. I don't know, I'm, I assume I've got him as captain. Or someone not. It was, oh, it was me, it, it was Gaza for ages. I've got a feeling it's still Gaza. Shearer, 3 0. And we're running rampant now. 20,000 attendance at Wembley. I mean, that's very, very low for an England Italy friendly in 1996. Especially ahead of Euro 96 as well. Shearer makes it 4 0. And we're hitting form at the right time. I mean, I'm wondering whether to play this 4-4-2 style as they get one back with Wolves. But I just don't think I've got the players, to be honest. And we hold on. We haven't made any subs. It's 4-2. I mean, not really the way of the game. But we win the game. That's the main thing. That's all that's going to matter at your 96 is winning the game. It doesn't matter how many we win by or what the scoreline difference is as long as we win. So if we look at the, oh, we're going to quickly do that while we're here. Gaza is the captain. We'll make Adams the captain. So fixtures and the results. Uh, topical. We did beat Spain 3-1. Obviously it was 3-2, what, like a day or two back. Um, Raheem Sterling getting two. Shearer doing it this time. I'd much rather have Alan Shearer in my team than Raheem Sterling. Raheem Sterling, great player, but Alan Shearer, absolute beast. Uh, and Sir Les getting the third one as well. Uh, their goal was scored by, I don't know who he is. Avoro, don't know him. Oh no, we we're going to play the semi-final, weren't we? Now I'm wondering, do we do what we're doing with England? Four, four, two. Sh short on the long lines. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to take the risk. So here we are with the semi-final. Um, we did some tactical changes. Um, I'm probably going to have cut them out of the final edit, but we have changed the four, four, two that we're playing with England. It just seemed to be working quite well. We don't really have the wingers. We don't really have the fullbacks. Well, the fullbacks are kind of what they're doing in the formation we're playing anyway but um we don't have the wingers so i don't know it's gonna work and we obviously haven't got alan shearer uh, or sir les so but we're playing norwich in the cup it's got man united and chelsea in the semi it was a repeat of last real life semi uh, final from the year before uh, man united obviously winning four nil on that occasion and yeah so this is what we're going with today so steve ball mccarthy up front we've got daily tony daly and mark rankin back on the wings ferguson and murphy in the middle uh, Bowyer is injured, unfortunately. You've got Venus, Richards, DeWolf, and Smith making up the back line. Um, no one else really we can put on the bench or chuck in. Stowell is back, so he could, he's not quite fit. So we won't risk him. And we start the game here. And we're starting like a house on fire a little bit. As we give them a free kick, which no doubt they're going to score their first shot. They don't. Um, just before the transfer window did literally just shut so it shuts in March back in 1996 and uh, is it Jermaine Wright I think it was and Emblem have left gives us a bit more money um, as we go 1-0 down obviously I did see it but I was just ignoring it um, gives us a bit more money and the wall, the monthly confidence from the board we are they are now satisfied with my performance uh, the financial position, position is precarious, but we did make a profit of about £150,000 last month. That's despite selling that bloke for about four hundred. So that's the kind of numbers we're working with. But we're on the verge of going out of the FA Cup here. And I've got a feeling it's a similar situation in terms of chances. We do finally score. I think it's Mark Rankine, the right winger. Oh, it's, no, it's Dean Richards. Of course it is. Why would I think it would be Rankin? He's absolutely awful. 
Uh, Rankin is the captain. We're going to push that back down to Richards. Danny Murphy has a chance, but... And we go 2-1 up. Sean McCarthy, 61st minutes. We've scored two in, what, nine minutes. To put ourselves back in the driving seat of this FA Cup semi-final. Now we just need to hold on. If we get out a third, give ourselves a two-goal cushion. We said it in a couple of games back, which we couldn't do. We can do it today. I think it was the Luton game, wasn't it? We couldn't do it. We can do it today. Not quite there, almost. Five minutes to go. We're still piling on the pressure, though. Rankin, a terrible shot. But we do. We're in the we're in the FA Cup final. So. so we're on the verge of falling away in the league in the playoffs and this, that and the other, but we've reached the FA Cup final. No results here really affect our standing. And we get the manager of the month for March. I don't know how because our league form has been absolutely woeful. And we're going to play Chelsea in the FA Cup final. So let's have a look at the schedule. We'll have a look at the league, we'll have a look at the schedule. So yeah, we're just going to play these um, league games out off camera. So what I'll do, I'll come back for the Chelsea game. Depending how those games are going, I might keep a couple of the league games at the end just to finish the season. Or if it looks like we're in the chance of the playoffs, I might just come back for the FA Cup final and then the playoffs if necessary. Um, so I'll play it kind of by ear depending on how the season goes. So what are we looking at? We're four points off the playoffs now. It's not looking good. We do have a game in hand. So as long as we win that, we're one point behind. So it's not terrible, I guess. But we'll have to see how we get on. If you enjoyed this episode, please uh, do drop it a like um, while you're down there. You know, drop a sub to my channel, fans. That'd be absolutely fantastic if you want to keep up with this series. Um, it's not, from what I've seen, the first couple of episodes aren't doing too great in terms of views or anything like that. FN19 is about to drop, so people are probably looking for that more so. And I might have the SEO bit. I might have to have a look at that as well. But if you are liking it, you are enjoying it. Um, yeah, please do that just so I know that, that it is going down well. It's probably a save, uh, a series that's going to be looked at probably a bit more uh, once FM19 has maybe died down a little bit. Um, but it's, it's keeping me entertained while I wait for it, and I mean, it will keep me entertained while I'm playing it as well. It gives me something else to play. I do enjoy these old Championship Manager games. So, uh, again, like always, any comments as well, just pop those in there. I'll always reply. Uh, so, until next time, which will be, well, the running of this first season uh, with Wolves, I'll see you later. Take care.